Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra. And in this video, we will understand the Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift concept from the very beginning, from the very basics. How these are interrelated? How, what is the relation between them? What should be the learning path? What is Node? What is Pod? What is ETCD database? Okay, so everything we will understand from the scratch. So let me start here. So first thing, what is Docker? Okay, and uh, there is one more thing called Podman. So Docker or Podman, either we can use, both are very popular container engine. These both are the container engine. Then the question is, what is container? Okay, so let me understand what is container. So in this figure, you can see two things here. One is virtual machine, another thing is the container. So these two things provide the virtual environment to run our applications. Like in AWS, you must heard about the virtual machines, right? So how virtual machines are running? There is the infrastructure, beneath infrastructure, or top of it, a hypervisor layer run and in this hypervisor layer then you can have multiple operating systems and top of it your application will be running now we come to the container how container will work okay how we can create a container what is container so here in container one is the infrastructure top of it your operating system will be running and top of it your container engine will be running so your container engine might be the docker might be the podman these are the container engines and top of it then you will create your container okay so in this example this is your container okay your container will be having your dependencies means the bins or the library files of your applications and top of it the application code once this this container is ready, then it will be that portable container. Then we can move this container to any machine, any um, anywhere where the container engine is running, okay? So in any container engine, we can run our containers, okay? So that is the power of the container and the Docker and uh, uh, Podman, okay? So let me understand how this container Docker uh, work, okay? So before uh, coming to this slide, let me go and do some practical to understand uh, the basic things, basic uh, um, architecture and how docker runs so let's do some practical here so to do that to understand a docker okay first let me go to the hub.docker.com side okay so uh, this is the registry hub.docker.com is the registry uh, where you can find uh, the images many uh, base images you can find there uh, many public images you can find there. You can also store your public images. You can also store your private images in the hub.docker.com. Likewise, there are other many registries also like Docker, like Quay.io and then provided by many clouds, okay? So let me search here a basic um, um, uh, web server image. Let me search for the Nginx. Okay, so if we go to the Nginx, so this is the image stored in the Docker Hub and this is the official image of the Nginx, okay? So the you can find many description about the Nginx image provided here. Okay, let me start with the basic and copy the simple command here, okay? To run this command, you must have the Docker in your Windows machine either in your uh, in your machine okay not windows in any machine so docker is available uh, for all the operating systems for windows for linux for mac you can download it uh, from the docker site and can install in your machines once docker is installed then you can um, create the container run the container inside the docker okay so i have uh, docker already installed in my machine the docker is already running you can see the gui of the docker but we are not going to use the gui we will go to the command prompt I am using the Windows PowerShell, you can use any command, okay? So here, if I uh, run this command, okay, whatever we copied, docker pull nginx, so what this command will do? It will get the nginx image, the latest image of the nginx from the Docker Hub registry and will build that image and will store this image inside our Docker, okay? So if we run this, okay, 
okay we remember the tag here okay the tag is latest here okay and now it is getting image from the docker now you can see the pulling and always uh, uh, take remember of these layers right you can see number of lines here or every lines is a layer okay i will uh, uh, i will explain you these things uh, uh, once uh, this image is done right so every image has been installed and now we are having this image inside our docker how to check it to check it we have to give command docker images okay so now you can see our doc nginx image is there with the tag latest okay then how to run this come this image now inside our docker okay for it let me first clear the screen go back to the docker um, uh, registry again and see here are many description has been provided okay so let me copy a simple command from here okay to run the docker okay so let me copy it and then again uh, let me paste then i will explain what this command is doing so it is it will run the image first okay and hyphen hyphen name so we are giving the name to our container okay so image is ready now docker will run this image inside a container okay so let me give uh, the name to our container as uh, my nginx okay and uh, hyphen d means it will run inside the background and uh, uh, hyphen p means the port okay so container uh, will run uh, uh, inside docker in uh, uh, with the 80 port okay so container will at the 80 port and we are assigning our local machine port 8080 to the container port 80 okay so whatever request our windows machine will get or the port 8080 it will redirect to the container port 80 okay and uh, then finally the name of our image so our uh, image name was the nginx so let me do that and run it okay so it has provided us a address. So this is the uh, address of our container. Okay. So let me check whether our container is running fine or not at the port 8080. Okay. Because our okay. So let for it. Let me go uh, to the browser and then check with the local host and our port is 8080. Yes. So here is the index page of the nginx so nginx is running well so now i hope you have understand that how uh, this is running right and if we go back to our uh, presentation so here as i told you many layers you have seen right so uh, so these are the layers so in your docker file every line is a layer okay once uh, these uh, uh, layers get uh, installed then images ready right we we run a command right docker pull so that is pulling the uh, uh, image from the docker hub registry as well as you can, same way you can build your image in your docker right so uh, building the image you will give provide this uh, command okay once it is ready image is ready in your docker then you will go directly and will run the uh, uh, your image by using the docker run command as we did right so uh, to understand these image concepts in a little bit more deep if we go inside the nginx uh, uh, image section here okay and um, you know we are we were using the latest image if we are not giving any um, uh, name after colon then it will by default it will take the latest okay so if i click here we can see the docker file of it right so this is the docker file um, um, uh, docker is using while uh, creating while um, uh, creating this image right so here you can see this nginx base image is using another base image uh, from the debian deb is the debian is the linux version right so from the debian it is getting uh, it, it so on top of the debian the nginx uh, uh, server is built on okay so it is building the uh, nginx server in top of that debian image okay and these are the commands every command to build that right so how so this way it is so if, if we go there and try to find this debian image inside the docker registry itself okay so it is the debian image and uh, the tag is bull eye slim okay so if i go back uh, uh, to the hub.docker.com uh, again and uh, suppose if i search for uh, for debian here okay and if i go to the debian and let me search for the uh, tag here okay so uh, yeah here 
okay so bullseye slim tag is there so how this is the way the uh, docker is uh, work right so it get the base image that base image might be using some another base image right so it is the layer architecture as uh, i shown you okay so after docker let me go ahead and uh, uh, now we understand what is the relationship between docker kubernetes and openshift okay now we understand docker how docker work so docker main thing is the container and docker is the uh, runtime environment of the container running the container container is nothing okay container is the combination of your operating system your software libraries and configurations file like as you shown you the image of uh, uh, nginx right so nginx is is uh, built on top of the operating system debian right and then um, then a number of uh, lines was written to uh, install the software library and other configurations file for the nginx servers right so once that, that that was our container okay once container is ready then that container can be run inside the docker okay so uh, docker is kind of to uh, uh, store the image build the image and run the image okay then what is kubernetes here okay that is the most uh, uh, important concept okay so now uh, you understand uh, the microservices right so currently we created number of microservices and these microservices they run inside a container okay so there might be a number of thousands of container okay then these containers will also um, uh, communicate uh, with each other. These containers will also communicate to the external environment, to the internet. Okay. And uh, then we also need to understand that uh, if these containers are healthy or not, right? So that's why we need a system to manage these containers. So Kubernetes is the container orchestration system. Okay. And it manages, it manages our containers inside the Kubernetes cluster. Okay. Cluster is nothing. Cluster is a set of uh, some nodes, some machines, okay, in which we have master machine and the worker nodes, okay. So, uh, via this mechanism of master and uh, uh, worker node, Kubernetes control the environment, the runtime environment of our container, okay. Uh, and these containers run top of the Docker, okay. So, I will explain these things in detail in the next slide. Uh, and OpenShift is nothing. OpenShift is uh, uh, again uh, built top of the Docker and the Kubernetes. I will explain OpenShift in detail after once. Let's first understand what is Kubernetes. Okay. So if we go ahead, so this is the uh, architecture, basic architecture of Kubernetes. Here you can see this is the Kubernetes cluster. Okay. And here uh, two things, two main things is one is the master node. Okay, and another is the uh, another are the nodes. Okay, so master node also called the control plane. Here uh, is inside it. Uh, uh, here is a database, etcd. So in this database, we store the state and other informations about our container. Okay, how and addresses of the container, how this master node will communicate to the node and the port ads. Okay, so all this information is stored in the etcd database. It's kind of key value database. Okay, then other components are also there for to control all these nodes. And node here, okay, it might be a physical machine. It might be a virtual machines okay so depending on the cluster uh, the nodes will be created and then inside the node our pod will be created okay so pod is the execution okay of our container so inside a pod there might be a single container or more than uh, a single kind okay so either single or more than a single container might be two or three okay so generally we uh, in a single pod a single container generally done but it might be more than this okay and then uh, the docker is the environment then what is cube kubelet kubelet is the agent which run inside the node and uh, by this agent this master node communicate with the worker node okay and cube proxy is the important thing here cube proxy is kind of uh, um uh, we can say uh, the networking okay like i told you uh, once this container will running inside the node and inside the port they will communicate between each other this container might uh, communicate to this container right and uh, this container might also need to communicate to the external environment over the internet right so how it will do this okay so it will do via the queue proxy okay so that's why this is the networking concept the service concept okay we will understand later once we will uh, deep dive the 
the all these concept okay so if we go ahead so after kubernetes then we have the open shift okay so open shift is kind of you can say the running the enterprise level applications okay open shift is built on top of the kubernetes okay uh, uh okay and uh, uh, it is basically developed by the red hat okay so it's very secure and developed by the red hat to when so many support provided by the red hat community for the open shift okay and uh, then uh many benefits it's also provide like web consoles is provide like okay using the web console or the command line uh, cli we can manage our uh, applications step by our applications then their language supports also there is a one concept in the open shift it's called the s2i concept source to image concepts and it understand once we will provide the source code to the open shift it will understand that in which language uh, this uh, code has been built accordingly it will Will create the image automatically for you so all these intelligence it is having inside okay uh, okay so that is the open shift and uh, is to understand means what is basic difference between open shift and kubernetes okay so you can by example you can say uh, suppose we are having a car so that car would be the open shift and engine of car would be the uh, kubernetes okay so by using the engine we cannot reach anywhere okay so that's why uh, that engine uh, the basic thing the power uh, would be generated by the engine but to, to make it movable okay we need a car so that car would be the open shift okay so for enterprise level applications we use open shift okay uh, move ahead so let understand the basic open shift architecture as i told you so open shift is built on the uh, red hat linux rhel okay core os then top of it then we are having the container runtime and then uh, this uh, uh, open shift uses the kubernetes okay kubernetes orchestration management okay and also some other apis open open shift written apis uh, for the kubernetes open shift kubernetes extensions okay and the etcd database as i told you for the cluster state and other configurations is sold in this etcd database uh, uh, the language support we have already uh, discussed okay so it's very intelligent uh, open shift to understand to get uh, uh, i mean so, um, um uh, uh, get the code and uh, build the image uh, automatically based on this intelligence here, okay and uh, then other uh, services like authentication is a very secure environment once you will create the uh, cluster it will be very uh, secure and uh, the multi authentication services will be provided there networking we have already understand via the proxy right uh, many services and networking concepts are there the route concepts are there in the open shift then the image registry it also provides its own internal image registry history okay where you can build your image save your image uh, uh, privately inside your cluster and top of it are also provide the apis web console i told you right so by using the web console very easily you can manage your application create your new application can check the logs and by using the cli also but not everybody um, uh, understand the commands of cli cannot to, uh, remember the commands of uh, CLI, okay? So they can use the web console, very good web console, a very easy web console opens it provided. APIs are also provided. We can use these APIs in our programs and can connect with our uh, uh, open shift cluster to manage the things okay so this is the open shift so let me go back here okay so we started with the docker okay we understand the docker then uh, over the docker we are having the kubernetes okay so direction is like that over after docker we have kubernetes and then from kubernetes the open shift okay uh, in the next videos we will understand all these concepts in more deep with more examples in this video we understand the docker with very basics and with very basic example and how this layer concepts are work okay so um, we will again meet in the next video thanks for watching this thank you